guys, this is Luffy on Rift High. So me and a couple friends did a role play. So first it was with one friend, Domo is boss, and then the other was with Cassandra Hobbs. So it was a very interesting role play. I mean, one was done on Messenger, and then we kind of continued it. I continued on Skype with my other friend. So I'm not even going to really try good voice acting with this one because, I mean, it it's not really meant to be serious. It's kind of just a random thing that we just kind of made it up really as we went along. So let's get into it. So I sent a picture to my friend and I said that face though. That's the face of disappointment when she sees the little dick and Nick's dick. By the way, Kinsey is still disappointed with little dick Nick. More disappointment. Poor Kinsey. Softly pats on back. Kinsey starts to cry. It's okay, girl. Pushes her off a cliff. Or not. Kinsey screams as she hurtles towards the ground. Ha ha ha! Jumps off cliff to laugh closer to Kinsey. Then Kinsey is saved by... Lil Dick Nick. He's riding Princess Twilight Sparkle, and he gives Kinsey a ride up to the top of a cliff. You are saved by Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy, who hang you in a tree by your underwear, giving you a huge wedgie. Lol. Kinsey knows that wedgies hurt because her father used to get drunk and hang her outside all night from the personal flagpole. She looks at you and helps you down out of the tree. What makes you think you can just let me yourself back into my life? Kinsey yells at Nick. I literally just saved your life, and your main concern is that I came back to you? They both give each other death glares. Twilight steps in between them because they look as if they were ready to maul each other. Look, Kinsey, I know you're upset and all, but he did save your life. Nick looks at Kinsey as if to say, I told you so. Well, I'd rather be dead than next to this asshole, Kinsey said furious. Oh, goodness. Twilight looks over at the random newcomer who somehow got in. And who are you exactly? Kinsey asked, annoyed. Eats bag of Doritos. My name is Cass Nova. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how did you get in here? Twilight asked, cocking her head to the side. Um, Mom? I'm not your mother. I'm too young to have children, Twilight says quickly. Kinsey and Nick bicker behind her. Oh, sorry, wrong to mention. Um, well, I hate to be a bother, but maybe you two could, I don't know, try and get along? I mean, if you want to, you don't have to, but... Fluttershy asks, a bit shyly as it was her nature. Casanova passes out because she is tired. Twilight runs over to her to see if she's okay. Every pony, stand back. I'm going to attempt mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR, she says as she presses on Casanova's stomach with her hooves. She is only going to awake with true love's kiss. Twilight looks around for the source of the eerie voice and sees Rainbow Dash behind her, waving her robes around, making ghost noses. She stops after realizing Twilight was looking at her. Carry on, she says, flapping her hoof. Remember to take her bra off, Twilight. You need to always remember to let the tees go before you start to blow, Rainbow Dash informs her. The spirits wake Casanova and bring her back to her right dimension, and then came Fennekin in her place. What the... Twilight was confused. Twilight, what did you do to her? Rainbow asked. I didn't do anything, Twilight insists. Fennekin. What the fuck is that thing? Kinsey asked, after t taking time to pull away from her argument with Nick to notice what was going on. Fennekin runs away, never to be found. Well, that was quick, Rainbow Dash said, not sure what to think of the situation. I think you scared it, Kinsey. Good job, Twilight said sarcastically. Peck appears. Oh my gosh, it's a bunny, Fluttershy says, flying over to, the, to her super fast and excited. She picks Peck up and squeezes her in her hooves with a giant bear hug. Peck stays scared, like, please let go. I'm going to hold you forever and ever, Fluttershy says happily. Kinsey gets up and plurized Fluttershy from Peck. From the rooftop, she came and said, I am Midori Garinu. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. The fuck? Nick says, confused as he scratches his balls and sniffs his paw. <laughs> Ew, gross, Rainbow Dash whispers. Then from the secret bookshelf door in the side of the castle ruins came Infochan. She was reading a book and paused when she looked up in shock to find others in her secret ruined castle. Then Dairy Chan stabs Midori. Twilight then goes super samurai mode 
and takes the Andari Chan out with a huge laser ball, just missing Info Chan and Rainbow Dash. Twilight's eyes are completely white. Nobody kills Midori, she says, her voice sounding demonic and filled with rage. She slowly lowers to the ground where she was floating, and her eyes go back to normal as she shakes and rubs her head and groans. And that is where we left off. That was the most randomest thing ever. I don't even know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little piece of pancake. So. By the way, Nick is Nick Wild. No, Nick Nick. If you weren't aware of that. So, yeah. See you, Nick.